Hello everyone, my name is Alistair and I am the Kitchen Chemist, and today we're making goo. The science behind these slimy, squishy, gooey slime balls is really interesting. So before we get to actually making our gooey slime balls, we need to talk about non-Newtonian fluids. You may recall from science class that there are three main states of matter. Solids, like this table, have a defined size and shape. Liquids, like this water, have a defined size but no defined shape. Notice when I pour the water into this glass, it takes the shape of the second glass. And gases, like the air in this kitchen, have no defined size or shape. Both liquids and gases have the ability to flow, and we can refer to them as fluids. All states of matter have properties associated with them, like color, weight, and density. And one of them for fluids is viscosity. The viscosity is the measure of the internal friction of a fluid, and represents how well that fluid flows. Water has a relatively low viscosity. And honey has a relatively high viscosity. Both water and honey behave as Newton said they would, that the viscosity does not change when a force is applied. When we stir water or honey, they move proportionally, and the viscosity doesn't change. So non-Newtonian fluids don't behave in this way. The non-Newtonian fluids we're going to make today change in viscosity when we bounce them, shake them, or hit them. Now let's make some goo. We're going to be making two types of non-Newtonian fluids today. One using cornstarch and water, and one using white glue, baking soda, and contact lens solution. Hopefully these are all items you can find around the house or easily get at the grocery store next time you shop. Before we start any chemistry in the kitchen, it's important you ask your parents for permission first. Hey mom. Hey, hey mom. Hey mom. Yes. Can I do some chemistry in the kitchen today? Hey, just don't make a mess. Okay, I'll clean up. Yeah, and don't spill anything on the floor. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Now let's make some non-Newtonian fluids. For the cornstarch and water mixture, add a half a cup of cornstarch to a medium-sized bowl. Slowly add a half a cup of water and stir. You can mix it with a spoon or your hands. Add any color of your choice to make it fun colors. I think we should make this one green. Keep adding cornstarch and water until you get the mixture to a honey-like consistency. This will be about 10 parts cornstarch to one part water. Enjoy your non-Newtonian fluid. This non-Newtonian fluid is a suspension, which means the cornstarch molecules are suspended in water, and that's what gives it its non-Newtonian properties. This is kind of like quicksand. If you run across it, you'll stay on the surface, but if you stop, you'll sink in slowly. Now let's make the non-Newtonian slime. Mix a half a cup of white glue with a quarter cup of water. Stir well to make sure they are completely combined. Add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda 
and the color of your choice. I'm going to make this one pink. Add the contact lens solution a little at a time and mix well. If you can't find or don't have contact lens solution, a dilute boric acid solution will work as well. You will only need about one tablespoon of contact lens solution, but add it slowly and mix it really well. Mix all of the ingredients in well and work the slime to combine. This non-Newtonian fluid is a polymer, which means it's made up of long chains of the glue molecules held together with the compounds in the contact lens solution. Polymers are all around us, like plastics, rubber, and nylon. Enjoy your super stretchy and slimy non-Newtonian fluid. It's important to remember that after playing with our goos, we should wash our hands with soap and water. So, what have we learned? The three states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases. Liquids and gases can behave as fluids because they flow. An important property of fluids is their viscosity, which is how well fluids flow. Most fluids don't change their viscosity when we apply a force, but non-Newtonian fluids don't behave in this way, and force and pressure can change their viscosities. And what else did we learn? That chemistry is gooey, fun, and all around us. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was as informative as it was fun to make. Check out Steve Spangler Science, Science Mum on YouTube, and Let's Talk Science for more great science experiments. Bye for now!